let's talk about Bill Belichick, man. Is it time for Bill Belichick to New England to move on from Bill Belichick? You got people saying it's proven that Tom Brady was more responsible or, you know, yeah, was responsible for more of the credit with winning championships. You know, it's a hundred man job. I mean, over a hundred plus man job. The guys from the practice squad, you know, scout team, they play a role, the towel, the equipment managers, the linemen, the backups, the the, the, the front office, everybody play DC, OC, everybody play a part in it. Check out the NFL playlist, by the way, for more videos like this. Everybody play a part in it, but it is time for them to move on. And the reason is he got a lot of power in the organization and he spawns a lot of duds from Charlie Weiss, dud, Romeo Cornell, dud, Josh McDaniels, dud. <clears throat> the only one that's been pretty successful is Bill O'Brien when he was at Penn State. And he took the Texans to the AFC Championship game and had like a 20-point lead on Patrick Mahomes, and they squandered it. He's the only one I could think of be successful. Wherever they front office people go, Matt Patricia, dud, Bob Quinn, dud. Wherever they front office people go, it's a dud. And what people don't realize about the New England Patriots, they suck at drafting players. Bill Belichick, that's the number one reason that they suck. Bill Belichick suck at drafting players. Drafting Marcus Easley and all these bum ass players that don't go there and do nothing. He good at resalvaging players, seeing players that are struggling on, on team A and bringing them over there and putting them in their proper role. When they already have when they already playing in the NFL, he good at identifying them, resalvaging players and putting them in a the position like Calvin Noy and, and a lot of these other guys, Rodney Harrison. You know what I'm saying? He good at he good at veteran players and plugging them in. When it comes to drafting players and develop and player development, he trashed that shit. He really is. He trash at it. Look at the personnel in New England. It's trash. And then, you know, when they develop guys like Trey Flowers, when they develop these guys like, or, or when it's time to pay guys like Richard Seymour and all these guys, then they don't want to pay nobody, and they want to do it again. But the problem is, the thing about running a successful NFL franchise is that's going to be successful long term is being able to draft. And he was able to get through that loophole because Tom Brady kept them afloat. Tom Brady made the Edelmans better. He developed the West Welkers. You know what I'm saying? He made sure the Hernandez and the Gronkowski, Tom Brady made everybody good. So that allowed them to offensively stay floating. Defensively, he was able to tinker and bring in veterans and bring in the Revises of the world. And, you know, he was able to find the Chandler Joneses of the world and, and guys of that nature, mid to late round guys. But... His whole thing was resalvaging players. That was his thing. They didn't draft a lot of good players up there throughout his team. A lot of them dudes came from different organizations and different situations. And now you're starting to see without time there. Had time never showed up and they rolled with Drew Bledsoe, they wouldn't have won a championship. <clears throat> that quarterback business, you know, Peyton Manning in, in, in Indianapolis, they wouldn't have been relevant as long as they was without Peyton Manning. But Bill did make sure he was a, de a defensive genius. And their defense is still really good. But offensively, look at their playmakers. I mean, a bunch of motherfuckers in there. Come on. Come on, their receivers is trash. Tight end's pretty good. But the receivers is trash. The backs is there. Uh... You got to remember, too, they was known for picking up veteran backs and winning with them. Antoine Smith, Corey Dillon. They was known for, for, for picking up. He couldn't even drive fucking running backs. The best position he was drafting, especially offensively, was tight ends. He can't even draft receivers, bro. Think about it for a lot of receivers Tom was playing with. Come on. Jabbar Gaffney, Deion Branch, two-way Troy Brown. That motherfucker won, man. Tom Brady was, was winning with, 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 with God. Come on, man. Deion Branch went to the Seahawks. They sent that motherfucker, cut that motherfucker right away. Sent him right back with Tom. Come on, man. Re trading for Randy Moss when nobody else wanted Randy Moss. He good at re-salvaging players, bro. That's it. He not good at That's the number one issue with Bill Belichick. He can't draft players. He need to bring somebody else in offensively who can help him draft offensive players and defensive players. Let somebody draft the players. And you just coach the defensive players. And, you know, and it still holds true to this day. That's the biggest issue is personnel. While coaching wise, they still a really good coach football team. But as far as the firepower that they they got, it's trash. It's trash. And person, he got too much power in the personnel department. They don't do a great job drafting. Look at the history of it. 
Tom Brady was developing guys, him, McDaniels, Bill O'Brien, Charlie Weiss, they were developing guys, and he was getting the best out of them. He was getting the best out of them. He was getting the best out of them. Simple as that. So when people say it's time for Belichick to go, it's the least time for him to give up the personnel, say so, in my opinion, and just coach. He need help drafting offensively and defensively. Look at the history, right? I ain't got to pull it up. Y'all can pull it up. Pro football reference. In the whole draft history. Trash. In my bubble dub voice. Trash. So, yeah, you can look at, look at the whole history. It's trash. Trash. But, but fire him as a coach, and I can see that too, trying to turn over a new lead. But he hell bent on winning without Tom Brady. That's what's dropping him right now. But he don't have the he don't have the <clears throat> the IQ or he don't have the smarts to go out there and draft correctly. He don't. And it's been shown decade, year after year, decade after decade. And them slow linebackers that he liked, them slow ass defensive linemen that he liked, it's a totally different ball game right now. These dudes gotta be able to run. There ain't no more RP to Dick Buckets, old ass slow linebackers no more. You gotta be able to cover in space and all that. You gotta be able to do all that shit. So yeah, it's to, in my opinion, it's at least time for him to give up that personnel power. But yeah, it's a wrap. All New England doing this is delaying the inevitable. What Jerry Jones do when he first got to Dallas? Gave Tom Landry the Manolo boot. Pow! Or my Gemini hoops were the Martin boot. <laughs> I'm gonna get some Martin boots and see what the hoes say. Uh-uh, I can't date you. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> You got them boots on. Uh -uh. You got them lead. It was, it was problem child boots on. <laughs> but let me know what y'all girls and guys think. Check out the NFL Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. Uh, all that's there. Check out my new channel, uh, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 99. That's in the link tree in the description. And check out my Detroit channel, Motor City Sports Talk. Talk some Lions, some NFC North, stuff around Detroit, Pistons, and etc. So, peace.